Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about the 1953 movie The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms that fascinate you? This iconic creature feature, directed by Yugni Lurie, holds a special place in the annals of cinematic history. But beyond the on-screen thrills, what lies beneath the surface? Join us as we dive into the depths of this classic monster flick, exploring some hidden gems that might just pique your interest. Now, let's uncover a few intriguing tidbits about this film, from its groundbreaking special effects to its impact on the genre. Did you know that Ray Harryhausen, a pioneer in stop-motion animation, brought the colossal Redosaurus to life. This film marked one of his earliest forays into creature creation, setting the stage for his legendary career. And speaking of legendary, the movie's influence on future monster films is undeniable. It essentially birthed the atomic era giant creature subgenre. But here's the question, what are the lesser known facts or anecdotes about the beast from 20,000 Fathoms that captivate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your cherished memories or any interesting trivia that you might have about this classic monster movie. So, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of cinematic history and uncover the hidden treasures of the beast from 20,000 Fathoms. What fascinating details are waiting to be discovered? Let's find out. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, a 1953 science fiction film, directed by Yugni Lurie and based on a short story by Ray Bradbury, emerges as a classic in the realm of creature features. The story revolves around the awakening of a prehistoric dinosaur, the Redosaurus, due to nuclear testing in the Arctic. As the colossal creature makes its way to New York City, the film introduces Dr. Tom Nesbitt, played by Paul Christian, as the iconic character leading the scientific efforts to stop the rampage. The film's unique style lies in its groundbreaking use of stop-motion animation by Ray Harryhausen, which set a standard for future creature features. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms significantly impacted popular culture by influencing subsequent monster movies and marking the resurgence of interest in prehistoric creatures as formidable foes. Its success also contributed to the rise of the atomic-era monster genre. This film endures as a milestone in the world of cinematic monsters and remains an essential watch for fans of classic science fiction and creature features, showcasing the enduring allure of a giant, ancient terror on the loose. The film's original release prints were processed in sepia tone. Some prints also had the underwater sequences tinted green. This unique visual approach added to the film's atmospheric quality, enhancing the viewer's experience. The sepia tone provided a sense of nostalgia and timelessness, while the green tinting underscored the eerie underwater scenes. These artistic choices contributed to the film's impact on the audience, making it a memorable piece of cinematic history. The dinosaur skeleton featured in the museum scene is not a real fossil but an artificial one, and it's quite a fascinating relic of Hollywood history. This particular dinosaur skeleton, with its intricate details and lifelike appearance, was originally created for the 1938 film Bringing Up Baby. The film, directed by Howard Hawks and starring Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant, is a classic screwball comedy that has remained beloved by audiences for generations. The story behind this artificial dinosaur's journey from the set of bringing up baby to its prominent place in the beast from 20,000 fathoms is a tale of cinematic serendipity. After its use in the film, the dinosaur skeleton found its way into the storage facilities of RKO Pictures, where it remained largely forgotten for many years. It wasn't until the production team behind the beast from 20,000 fathoms was scouring various resources for a suitable dinosaur skeleton that they stumbled upon this forgotten treasure. The decision to use this iconic prop in the film not only added a touch of movie history, but also connected two distinct eras of filmmaking. The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms brought new life to a relic of the past, giving it a chance to shine once again on the silver screen, this time in a vastly different context. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of movie props and how they can transcend their original roles to become timeless symbols of cinematic storytelling. In the end, the artificial dinosaur skeleton's inclusion in the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms served as a nod to the rich history of filmmaking, blending the worlds of science fiction and classic Hollywood. 
It's a reminder that even in the realm of special effects and movie magic, there are connections to the past waiting to be rediscovered, and this dinosaur skeleton is one such delightful example. So, the next time you watch The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, remember that the dinosaur you see on screen has its own unique story that spans decades and genres, making it a true cinematic treasure. The reference to 20,000 Fathoms in the film's title, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, is sheer hyperbole. A fathom equals 6 feet, so it means 120 feet. The deepest part of the ocean is in the Marianas Trench called the Challenger Deep in the Western Pacific Ocean, at between 35,768 and 35,843 feet. This exaggerated depth in the title doesn't accurately represent the movie's storyline. Instead, it's a dramatic flourish to make the beast's emergence seem even more formidable. The film's actual shooting locations also included some amusement parks. The Kenai Island Amusement Park in the film is actually the Long Beach Amusement Park in Long Beach, Ka, where the production had the unique opportunity to film from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. this nighttime shooting added to the film's eerie atmosphere, capturing the sense of impending doom as the colossal creature approaches New York City. Furthermore, the roller coaster shown near the end of the film is the Cyclone Racer in the Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California. A miniature reproduction was burnt at the end of the movie, symbolizing the destruction wrought by the Redosaurus. These real-life locations in the film offer a tangible connection to the audience, and emphasize the impact of the creature's rampage. In summary, the exaggerated depth in the film's title adds a dramatic touch to the story, while the real amusement park locations, like the Long Beach Amusement Park and the Cyclone Racer, contribute to the film's authenticity and memorable moments. This mix of hyperbole and authenticity adds to the charm of the beast from 20,000 Fathoms. One of the many characteristics that separated Harry Hassan from lesser stop-motion animators was his attention to realism. When the beast steps on a parked car and crushes it, he pauses a moment, then swipes it sideways. As he proceeds onward, his other foot crushes it further, and finally his tail catches hold of the car and drags it along with him out of the frame. It's a close-up shot, totally separate from the general action, and does nothing to further the plot. But its subconscious effects on the viewer add significantly to the overall effect of the movie. This time-consuming and expensive attention to realistic physicality was not at all common in B-grade monster movies. As we bid adieu to the enthralling world of the beast from 20,000 fathoms, we invite you to take a moment and delve into your personal connection with this timeless 1953 cinematic masterpiece. This iconic film, directed by Yuvni Lurie, emerged from the depths of imagination to ignite the screens of a bygone era, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of movie enthusiasts. Perhaps it was your first encounter with the awe-inspiring concept of prehistoric creatures awoken from their slumber, or the spine-tingling sensation as the colossal beast wreaked havoc upon a city unprepared for such a menace. The film's groundbreaking special effects, courtesy of the legendary Ray Harryhausen, have held the power to captivate generations, fostering an enduring love for the art of visual storytelling. So, we encourage you to share your cherished memories and reflections on this monumental cinematic journey. Was it the creature's roar that echoed in your dreams, or the human spirit's resilience in the face of an unstoppable force that resonated with you most? Did you experience it as a thrill-seeker, a lover of science fiction, or an admirer of the bygone era of filmmaking? Your thoughts and memories bring new life to this classic, and continue the legacy of the beast from 20,000 fathoms. Thank you for joining us in this tribute to a timeless cinematic masterpiece. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated as we celebrate the enduring allure of this 1953 gem. Share your thoughts, kindred spirit, and be a part of this cinematic journey. Together, we keep the spirit of storytelling alive.